Hi Virgo, it's Roxy. I'm here to do a love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Not every reading can resonate with every Virgo out there. So just take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? So Virgo, when I was shuffling your cards in a pre-shuffle, the chariot and the star flew out. Two major arcanas, which is really interesting. I am using Nicoletta Ciccoli tarot cards. So Virgo, I hope you're doing well in this crazy, <laughs> crazy time we're going through. But I know we'll all come out unscathed as we're all going through this nonsense together, right? Virgo, if you're so inclined and want a personal reading with me, all my information is down in the description box below. Thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate it. I'm going to pull 12 cards and go one by one to tell you what I see. Whether you're getting into a relationship or you are in a current relationship. One more card for Virgo. Couple major arcanas here. Interesting. Hmm. Four major arcana. Hmm. I take those two. Those two flipped out. Okay, Virgo. Let's see what we see here. Okay. So this is one of the first cards that flew out during the pre-shuffle. This is the chariot. The chariot is a major arcana, sign of Cancer. Now, either you're dealing with a water sign, or you just want to move forward towards somebody, right? Or they want to come towards you. It can be vice versa since this is a general, okay? But you want victory with this person. You want to move forward to victory with them, okay? Now, this is the other card that flew out in the pre-shovel, the star. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could have Aquarius in your chart. But the relationship you're having or want to have, you want it to come to fruition with this person. You want it to come to be great and fruitful, okay? Or they feel this way about you, okay? Definitely, you want to be an even keel with this person and have success with them, okay? Hmm, interesting. It's the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could be dealing with an air sign. Doesn't have to be. Either you or this person is very, very sharp-tongued. <laughs> you're very blunt, or the person you're dealing with is. Right, very analytical, very logical. Then again, Virgos are very analytical people. They're very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Anal about things that they do and they want everything perfect. I, I mean, I can't blame you, okay? Or the person you're dealing with feels that way, okay? You want a perfect relationship. Yeah, and you're holding on to this person in your mind. This is you all day, uh, every day, Sunday. Four of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or they're holding on to you in their mind. But you, maybe you're not, both not letting go of each other, to be honest with you. Right? You both definitely want this relationship to be fruitful. But you could have had an argument in, in, the, you know, in the past. Or it's not coming to fruition as soon as you want it. So you think it's a burden. This is Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. right? It, or the person you're dealing with doesn't think you're moving fast enough. Because I know Earth signs are very slow <laughs> in their delivery. Uh, I have a lot of Taurus in my family. So it's like, like, can we go on here? Can we move on? Yeah, see, you're either, you're, you're a wounded warrior. You're defensive against somebody or they're defensive against you right now. Right? Aries Leo Sag energy. It's just like, you feel like you could have a stop sign up with this person sometimes. But you do love them though. Right? Yeah. This, this person um, could have broken your heart. Maybe this is somebody in the past, too. Or somebody broke their heart in the past. And they're hesitant to move forward. Right? Because they're scared. Or this could be you also. Right? But you definitely want a relationship. With whoever you're dealing with. You definitely want that in your life. Or they want that with you. Aries, Leo, Sag, energy. This is marriage. Stability. Long-term relationship. Yeah. Mm. The world, this is a major arcana. The world is completion, okay? A cycle ends and the new cycle begins, 
Right. Or you could have met this person on the internet also. Right. Or you're talking to them on the internet. Okay. There's, there's a lot of major arcana here, Virgo. This is interesting. High Priestess, major arcana again. I read this as Pisces. Could be dealing with a water sign. Pisces, it doesn't have to be. High Priestess is using your intuition where this person is concerned. Or they have to use their intuition towards you. Okay. But you always go with your gut because your gut is never going to lead you astray in any situation, right? The moon. This is Pisces again. So Virgo, maybe you're dealing with a, your opposite sign, right? Major Arcana. This is a secret coming out. Either a secret's coming out about you to them or a secret about them is coming out to you, okay? Things that are done in the dark will be revealed in the light, okay? Yeah, and if you find out this information, you might be guarded. You might be staying up late at night, having insomnia and anxiety, or they could be doing that, right? But it's something you'll get over, though. Something you'll get over, right? When you realize it's not that big of a deal, after all, okay? Because in the end, you get your wish fulfillment. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Definitely you could be dealing with the water sign. But it's happy, happy, joy, joy at the end. Even if you had your argumentation with them, you still end up happy, which is good for a go. Virgo, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Stay well. Be safe out there. I'm sending you love, peace, blessings, and kisses. Mwah, Virgo. Take care. See you next time. Bye.